Hello, I'm Mr Goodchild, Head of PE, and I am going to talk to you about the Cambridge National Level 2 in Sports Science. Uh, so the course has now changed, so it's 60% coursework and it's 40% written exam. The qualification is graded in pass, merit, distinction, distinction star. A pass is with equivalent of a GCC Level 4, a merit of 5.5, a distinction of Level 7, and a distinction star is an eight. So I'm now gonna discuss the topics that you'll be studying on the course. In year 10, we study unit R181, which is applying the principles of training, fitness, and how it affects scale performance. This will take up the first five terms of year 10, and then you will hand in all of your coursework for five pieces of coursework, and that will be sent off to be externally moderated. We then move on to unit 182, which is the body's response to physical activity and how technology informs this. And then the last unit is R180, which is the exam unit, reducing the risk of sports injuries and dealing with common medical conditions. So I'm now going to talk about how you'll be assessed on the course. In your first unit, R181, you will complete five tasks or five separate pieces of coursework. Each task will be marked by the teacher and at the end of the unit, they'll be sent off to OCR to be externally moderated. This is worth 80 marks in total and worth 40% of course. In your unit R182, similar, you will have five tasks, but this time it will be worth 20%. And in your written exam, it's a one and a quarter hour exam it's 70 marks and worth 40% of the course. So I'm now going to talk about the pathway that you could pursue once you've completed the level two Cambridge National. The most obvious uh, routes would be to continue your studies into level three with either a Cambridge National level three, a BTEC level three, or an AS or A level in sports studies. Once you've completed those courses, it could potentially open up careers in uh, exercise physiology or as a fitness centre manager, personal trainer, sports administrator, sports coach, sports development officer, sports therapist or physiotherapist. So we consistently achieve some of the highest pass rates in the school. In 2022-23 we achieved a 74% pass rate, so pass to distinction start. In order to achieve this, we expect all students to meet course of deadlines and any pupils that are below target grade will be expected to attend after school intervention. Sports science pupils will also have access to a sports hall one lunchtime a week to play sports and sports science pupils will also have priority tickets for any sports trips we do, including Bristol Flyers, Bristol City, Bristol Rovers and Bristol Rugby. Uh, should you have any more questions about the course or about physical education at Fairfield High School, please do not hesitate to contact me on the email address jgoodchild at fairfield.excalibur.org.uk. Thank you very much.